Drones are affordable devices that can give you a bird's eye view of the area around you. In recent years, drones have become incredibly sophisticated, and due to their advanced tech, some companies are even using them during disasters. Back on the 19th of September 2021, the La Palma volcanic eruption began, with lava being observed flowing down the mountain and through the villages. The volcano was throwing out huge jets of lava and ash into the air, and officials ordered everyone to move out of the areas close to the volcano, with residents leaving behind schools, villages, homes and personal belongings. Over two months later and the volcano is still very active, with those in charge saying that all flights to and from the Spanish island of La Palma have been cancelled, and this is due to the massive amount of ash. It's not just people who've been at risk during this event though. The volcano eruption has had a big effect on nearby wildlife. One individual was flying their drone above areas that had been hit by lava, when they spotted something on the ground. Thinking it may have been someone who was injured, they went in for a closer look. It turns out that it was a dog that had been cut off by lava from the La Palma volcano. Those in charge were notified and they soon put a plan in place. They announced that starving dogs that were surrounded by lava will be rescued via drones, with the operators saying that they plan to save them via drones with remote controlled nets. They said that the issue here is that the dogs are on one side of the lava stream, and that they can't make it across to safety, so one of the safest ways to help them will be via these remote controlled nets saying that once they're inside they'll be able to fly them over the lava to safety. Officials in charge noted that at this moment in time they need all the help they can get, and so gave permission to a Spanish drone operator to go in there and save the dogs. The drone user has been keeping a close eye on the dogs, and revealed that they have been watching three dogs that have been stranded for several weeks, saying that they've been staying close to an abandoned yard, Although they noted that ash and lava was coming in close, they said that the dogs were trying to keep their distance, but did note that they were close to the mountain. The drone user decided to take action, and was actively dropping down dog food via the drones. The two companies that provided the dog food were Ticom Solutions and Volcanic Life. At the time though, no one could figure out a way to save these dogs from the nearby lava, Drone users shared footage of the dogs laying on the ground, noting that for most of the day they were curled up close to a wall that was protecting them from the nearby ash. The drone operators did say though that they are aware, as every time they flew the drones overhead the dogs would look up. The companies that were packing the dog food said they were being assisted by veterinarians. Officials said that they were in a difficult situation, as helicopters are banned from flying over the area, noting that in the past rotors and other parts of the helicopters have been damaged by ash and lava. Emergency authorities said that after evaluating the situation, they decided that the only way to save these dogs would be via the use of drones, saying that an emergency meeting was made within a few hours, and it was decided that they would go forward with the rescue mission with them noting that this is the first time this has been allowed in Spain. Jamie Piera, CEO of drone operator Aero Cameras, said that he plans to send a huge 50 kilogram custom-made drone to the area, and that once there he will drop a wide net in order to capture the dogs one by one. He said that once they're inside the nets he'll fly them over the lava, and take them 500 meters away. Jamie Piera said the following, it's the first time an animal has been rescued with a drone, and the first time it has to be captured. If that's the last option that the dogs have, then we're going after them. End quote. Operating such a large drone means that it drains the batteries incredibly quickly, so Jamie said that he'll only have around 4 minutes to lure the dogs into the net, and another 4 minutes to fly them out to safety. He continued by saying the following, what we don't want is to run out of battery when flying over the lava. They've been eating very little for weeks. They might come or they might be scared of the drone. It really depends on their reaction. 
Jamie has been hailed as a hero by the locals, with users online saying that many people are focusing on humans, cars and homes, but hardly any attention has been on local wildlife and pets, with some saying that pets are so important to many people, and that they're part of the family. His efforts have been greatly appreciated. Officials have just announced that another river of lava has been hitting more houses on the island, and giant new fissures have opened up. The new fissures have sent lava towards the ocean, causing thousands more people to be evacuated. Miguel Angel, technical director of the Canary Islands Emergency Volcano Response Department, revealed that the volcano has been much more aggressive in the last few days. Earthquakes are also hitting the area, with one of the most recent ones being 3.5 in magnitude. The head of La Palma's council said the following, There is concern about the path of this new flow towards the sea, although it is expected to join up with the previous one within the next few hours. We have more drama to come, more people to take care of, End quote. Spokesperson David Calvo said the eruption of the volcano is still very strong, and that around 10,000 tons of sulfur dioxide was recorded on Monday. So what do you make of these recent La Palma announcements? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.